you know, people are always accusing Trump supporters of being violent or racist, but we're here at this Trump rally, and I, I just don't see it. They're trying to change what our children think in the schools. What would you like to see happen? I'd like to get back like it was in the 60s. Before all the civil rights stuff? Before all the civil rights stuff. So you would like to see things go back to before the civil rights movement? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, where people have their freedom in this country. Well, cer certain groups didn't have as much at, at the time, right? Right. Are you, are you pro-slavery or against slavery? I have no comment, but thank you for the interview. I'll give you one more chance. You're, you're pro, pro or anti-slavery? Uh, no comment. I, what, I'll give you one more opportunity to say if you're pro or anti-slavery. No, I don't, no comment. All right, well, there you have it. Well, the Civil War was something that no one could do anything about because the whites, quote unquote, whites from the South are not the only ones that had slaves, okay? Slaves are all over the world. The Republican Party's voter base has always shown a very concerning amount of respect for the monsters who went to war and lost so that they could continue to subjugate and torture generations of people just because of the color of their skin. And the rise of Trump has only encouraged these people to be more vocal about how they want to whitewash our country's dark history that can't be ignored. Do you think there's a direct effect from slavery to how black Americans are able to live today? No, I don't. They have a chance to learn. They live in the best country in the world. If they open their eyes and listen, instead of just focusing on their little area that, and people that they hang out with, they would learn a lot. There's so many people living off of the government handouts, and that is not that much farther away from slavery. You when they were a slave, they were given housing, food, clothing, medical care. They asked, the people asked them to work. Yes, there were land or landowners that were violent and, and mean to some of them, but there were others that were humanistic. Not only is this woman the product of our failure of an education system, but she and people like her vote in every election they can based on these lies, actively playing a role in pushing the country further to the right wing by backing candidates who share the same goals. And then we had a civil war. What do you think caused our civil war? Sin, I suppose, you know. There was something evil. Mankind is hard on each other, man. Well, that's one way to completely detach yourself from the horrors of chattel slavery and posture as a moral person. What do you think is the cause of the civil war, the U.S. civil war? Well, I think the Democrats are pushing the race issue extremely far. I don't... I, I had a black man at, the, at my door the other day. Um, I don't have an issue with race, but they're making it such a big issue. They're making it, you know, just even with this Claudia Gay that she was asked to resign from this college in Harvard. It's not a race issue, but they're making it that, and I don't agree with that. What about the Civil War in the 1800s? What do you think was the cause of that? Oh... Yeah, that was slavery, wasn't it? Then, there are people like this woman who know that slavery caused the Civil War, yet still, somehow, have an issue with talking about race in America today. Then you have these folks. What was the cause of the Civil War, the U.S. Civil War in the 1800s? What was the cause of the Civil War? What do you think the cause of the Civil War was? Uh, I don't know. What would you say is the cause of the Civil War? The Civil War? What caused the Civil War? Huh. Um, they mostly, I'm thinking of, of the first war when we became Americans. What do you think caused the Civil War? It's probably uh, the division of states and the people. Over what? Well, right now they're trying to take the people's right to vote away. I mean, if, you, if you're in Colorado, and I think Trump probably actually won Colorado, whether it says it on paper or not. Um, like I said, I, I've watched a lot of stuff, and there's a lot of voter voter fraud, a lot of... When you can't control all the write-in ballots and stuff like that, so, you know, the sad part about it is Trump actually told us before this even happened, this is what they were going to do, and, and they did it. They say, like, our democracy or a republic is one generation away from being lost, you know? And if we don't stand for this... 
the da- the dike's open, man. The waters are flowing. In what ways? In like our rights and how we manage our everyday living with folks, you know? Like when you see shootings in this country, something's wrong, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, and, and what does electing Donald Trump, uh, in regards to what you just said, what, how does that change things? Very traditional with the old ways, you know? Like, it's the ideals of the common constitution, you know? The things that have worked in the past, we need to keep the wheels greased up. When you hear us or other people say that our country is sleepwalking into fascism, this is exactly what we are talking about. Pay attention.